Hi, this is Judith Karakshoni, Salman Alana and Manos Brilakis, and this is case 215 for the manual of CTO interventions. This is a case in which we had to be on high alert throughout the procedure as the patient had intermittent chest discomfort as well as ST segment depressions. The patient was a 60-year-old gentleman who was referred for PCI of a right coronary artery CTO because of medical refractory angina. He had a previous unsuccessful attempt, moderate disease in the LAD with an IFR of 0.91 and normal ejection fraction with inferior ischemia on the stress testing. And this is this, his coronary angiogram. There is a right coronary artery CTO with some bridging collaterals, severe calcification throughout the vessel. There is a length of about um, 10 to 20 millimeters and good caliber distal vessel with septal collaterals supplying the distal vessel. So our plan here was to first try with undergrade wiring. If that didn't work, go retrograde through septal collaterals. And if that didn't work, go ADR. ADR was the least favorable because of the severe calcification that could hinder the re-entry. So we tried with uh, a Gaia next to wire and turnpike LP microcatheter. And we made some progress, but uh, the wire was actually in the extra plug location. Uh, we tried different guide wires, but we had difficulty penetrating. So we decided to switch to the retrograde approach. We did have a lot of difficulty getting into the septal collateral that had a retroflex origin. And this was solved by using the reversed wire technique. What is done with this case is we advance a polymer jacketed wire that is bent about 3 centimeters from the tip. As we pull it back, it comes back and hooks up that septal. We then insert our microcatheter and did surfing with a Sion Black and Suo 3 guide wires. But we had a lot of difficulty getting through that septal. And uh, that's uh, confirmed here on injection. We made it a little bit, but then we're clearly above the posterior descending artery. So after trying several times, we decided to try to a different collateral. We moved to a more distal septal. And then uh, once again, we performed surfing with um, polymer jacketed wires as well as a SUO3. And we have some difficulty getting through uh, this septal. This is not uncommon for crossing uh, septal collaterals. And the goal is to keep on changing pathways, pulling back and then uh, redirecting until we find the location of the actual collateral. So we did that, but we had a lot of difficulty redirecting. Eventually here it took that bend. And after taking that bend, then uh, it was able to advance a little further down. And then now we are into the right posterior descending artery. We then advanced the turnpike LP to the distal cap and did an injection through the microcatheter that uh, demonstrates again the good quality distal vessel. But at this point, the patient started developing chest pain and the ST segments became depressed on the monitor. And we didn't know what exactly was going on. There was no pressure dampening on either guide catheter. But we did have diffuse disease in the LAD. So our assumption was that maybe this was due to ischemia from having the microcatheter go through the LAD. So we actually withdrew the turnpike LP all the way back. And after we did that, the patient actually stabilized. We did an angiogram to verify that we did not have any dissection or thrombosis or other problems in the donor vessel, but the donor vessel was actually appearing okay. Very important, we did have a safety wire in the lady, which can be literally life-saving in case of a donor vessel complication. So at this point, we did not have a retrograde microcatheter, therefore our penetrating capacity was very poor on the retrograde wire. So went back to the undergrade direction and use various guide wires to the turnpike LP microcatheter, trying to knuckle and go in the extra plug space. And eventually we were able to advance the Gladius Mongo wire into the extra plug space. And our plan now was to do reverse cart, advance the guide extension down and do the guide extension reverse cart. However, because of the severe calcification, the tortuosity, as well as the severe lesion, we did have a lot of difficulty. We tried several guide extensions. We tried several balloons and the inch warming technique, which is very important for delivering guide extensions. 
but we did have a lot of difficulty getting down into that vessel. But eventually, after multiple attempts, we were able to deliver a 3.5 by 20 millimeter balloon all the way down to the distal right corner yard. And then we changed to a thinner microcatheter, hoping we could avoid the ischemia we had before. So this time we used the caravel. We brought the caravel all the way to the distal cap. And then we advanced a Gladius Mongo guide wire using the reverse car technique. So this is the undergrade balloon inflated. And then uh, this is the retrograde Gladius wire. It seems to be advancing along the course of the vessel. And then we successfully entered into the undergrade guide catheter. Now, our, at this point, we're concerned that we're going to get ischemia again, but fortunately, the patient uh, uh, remained very stable despite externalizing the guide wire. Once again, maybe the low profile of the caravel microcatheter. So we placed the drag eluting stand distally, overlap it more proximally with another drag eluting stand and a third one, and perform intravascular ultrasound given the severe calcification. And we can see here that the stand is well expanded. There are some areas where it's more oval, but overall the area was uh, fairly sizable. So we did have a nice result with good stand areas throughout the RCA. And this was the final result. Nice Timothy flow from the RCA all the way to the PDA and the posterior lateral. And given the difficulties that we had earlier in the case with uh, ST segment chases, we decided to assess again the LAD. So we did uh, a pressure wire and the RFR was 0 0.86. So actually there was ischemia, there was significant lesion into the LAD. However, it was not focal. It was just diffuse disease with gradual step up. And therefore we decided to not stand because otherwise we will have to stand all the way from the mid to the proximal right coronary artery. Several lessons from this case. The first one is that um, wiring septals can be challenging. Even engaging those septals can be challenging. And one technique that can help is using the reverse wire technique, especially when there is a retroflex origin of the septal collateral. Second, we did have a difficulty crossing um, the septals we did have to switch to a different septal and then we were able to successfully wire all the way to the PDA. The key of that case was how to minimize the ischemia. After we went retrograde we did have ST changes and ST and um, chest discomfort of the patient but this resolved after removing the microcatheter back and presumably it was due to ischemia caused by the microcatheter into the LAD. So every time we go retrograde, it is important to assess the donor vessel for disease and if needed, perform PCI in that vessel before going retrograde. Then we had difficulties delivering equipment for doing the reverse cart, but uh, using inch warming, various guide extensions and a knuckled wire, we were able to perform successfully the guide extension assisted reverse cart, which actually is becoming pretty much the standard approach for doing reverse cart in 2023. Thank you.